Are we going to be seeing Anatoly at any point this season? I'm going to let you wait for the panel to hear about <laughs> Look, we, uh, what I can say for sure is we left Anatoly with a promise. He left Alba with a promise last season. Uh, he's going to stay in Star City, leave some guys in Star City, and Alba's going to pay for that betrayal. Have we ever left you dangling for more than a season on that stuff? Yeah. <laughs> what can you say about Slade? I can tell you that, you know, Seaman announced that he's going to be back on the show this season. Whether he's in present day or flashbacks, and he'll leave that to your imagination. But I will definitely tell you that, you know, we, we, we really enjoyed having him back at the end of season five. He gets a huge amount of, Romano just brings a certain chemistry and excitement to the, to the set and to the show, and the fans love it. So, we're, you know, we're excited about having him back. Season five, we're going to take the show back to street level. So, uh, in season six, how would you describe how the ethos of the show going forward? What's the mission statement? It's going to be the same. I think what we found in season five was this is what works on air. We have now Flash. We have Supergirl. We have we're going to have Black Lightning. We're going to, we have um, we have Legends, and every one of them has a slightly different tone and, and does slightly different types of stories. What we found we do really well is really quiet drama and you know with a little bit of levity with the simplicity. And we're going to continue to you know we're going to double down on what we think was pretty successful. What can you say about the villain? I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the villain this year. <laughs> gonna, uh, it's going to be the biggest of all the bad. I'll say that. <laughs> I'll be very cagey about that one. Sorry. <laughs> Katie mentioned the possibility of exploring Bex, Black Siren's backstory. Is that something that you guys have already flushed out? We know what that backstory is, and I think this really speaks to the flashbacks. Um, we're not going to be doing the all of the ones anymore, so we'll have the opportunity to do it from different points of view, and that's uh, that would definitely be a top top one that we'd want to do um, on the show. Team Arrow very much kind of expanded. Sorry, do you want to go? No, do it, do it, do it. I was going to say Team Arrow, you're going to... Team Arrow uh, expanded quite a lot. Could you see any of those characters coming back? Characters like Rory. Rory is great. I mean, depending, it's always the same. We always give this sort of cat answer, and I'm going to give it again. Which is, if the right story comes along, and if the actors look cool, and all these magical things that come together, we'd love to have him back. And we did. We really expanded the show at the beginning of last season, and then it got sucked down a little bit, and then we blew everybody up. So who knows? <laughs> With the previous seasons of the show, um, if, if all the villains and even just sort of like heroes have all been kind of very human, very, it's all been technological or chemical uh, fights that they're having. Now with the addition of metahumans kind of leading from Flash into Arrow's city and Arrow's world, how does that change the storylines that you have planned going forward? I think we, you know, we've worked a little bit, uh, we explored metas and magic a little bit in season four. And and I think what we took away from that in season five was it exists. It's part of the universe that is there. It's it's not necessarily on our it's not right for our show. So I think even though if we get a good character and we can bring them in and they have they have to have meta power, we'll try to make it as grounded as possible. But that's really fun. it's really flash to see what we're They do that stuff so well and I don't want to step on Amos. Let them do their thing. But does it change the dynamic of like what the threats that they're doing, or do you do, do you really just try to pull it back and kind of make it still more technological for you? We always try to grab it. I think that, but what's fun about it is that we can do those grounded stories and the reaction, yet all our characters know about these things. They know about superpowers, they know about metas, and the reaction can be really what our, I think, the audience's reaction can be under the same circumstances, which is, this is, uh, this is bad Jim Rosie, guys. Like, what is happening out in Central City? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Will the vigilante be a bad I think we're gonna see the Jalapa again. I will tell you that. Yeah, good question. Have we, uh, we, talked, uh, we were talking about with Steven. 
and he told us that he's no. working closely no. with the actor who plays David his friends. Oh, yes, he is. Is, yes, with Jack what Moore. can we expect from this dynamic between well, Hunter and The season theme is, is about family. And the last thing we saw was Oliver reunited under pretty tragic circumstances with his son. And I think for us, going forward and really thinking about well, what is a challenge that we haven't seen a superhero go through in any of these shows, one of them is being a parent. So I can't tell you exactly how that's going to shake out, but I can tell you that Oliver Queen is going to learn about being a father. That means. Can you talk about okay. can you talk about Oliver and Thea? Um, like what their relationship is gonna look like this season? It can all depend on whether Thea pulls out of that explosion. Again, I don't know. <laughs> Looking back over the last five years of the show, what yeah. have been some of the bigger learning opportunities that have taken you guys to where you are today? I think, I think um, every season we learn something. I think for me, season one and season four were probably the biggest. We came out of season one and we knew, you know, we, we didn't know if the show was going to work or not, and it did. And we sort of figured out, okay, well, this is what's really working, we doubled down on that. And season two, and season four,